Start your engine. Want to get a flying start in your race to the cloud? These five resources should rev your engine. Number one, speed over to Genesis onboarding webinars. These quick and free webinars are driven for pure clouds onboarding specialists. Buckle in for a scenic lap around some valuable resources that will empower you as you take the will of your Genesis environment. Number two, go the distance and check out the Genesis Beyond site. There you can check out our showcase of the professional training and certification options that Genesis has to offer and start down the education path that makes the most sense for you. Number three, fill out your pit crew with some new friends from the Genesis Cloud community. Join thousands of Genesis professionals who are all eager to share experience and hear about yours. Number four, if you are leveraging APIs to boost performance, our Developer Center is ideal for loading up on API details, cruising real life examples and asking questions. Number five, don't let other great Genesis resources and announcements hide in your blind spot. The Genesis Knowledge Network provides a customizable dashboard where you can easily keep track of all things Genesis and prioritize the information that most interests you. All right, the race has started. Go get them! Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of the Genesis Cloud Communities Q&A show, the show where we answer your pressing questions in the Genesis Online community. My name is Matt Lawson. I am your online community manager. And today, I think we're in store for one of my favorite episodes. First of all, Becky Powell is joining us. She's one of my favorite colleagues and um, she's gonna be sharing some releases that have come out this year that pertain to questions that you've asked in the community. So hopefully we'll get some good information out of her. Um, after that, some really exciting news coming down the pipeline. Um, not sure if you follow Genesis on social, but a big announcement was made this week and um, it's going to impact the community in a way that we want you to be very involved. So please stick around after Becky leaves to learn more about that. Um, other than that, I say let's get started with the show and welcome Becky. Uh, I think she's dialing in right now. Hey Becky, how are you? Good to see ya. Good to see you as well. Anything fun happening in your neck of the woods? Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to tell you about some of our new features that we've released in January, February of 2020. Awesome. I cannot wait to hear about them. But before we get down to business, Becky, um, it's been a little while since we talked and uh, one of the things that was really exciting for me today is we have a GCAP challenge up. And as part of the GCAP challenge, people can send in icebreakers that I use in the show. So if you're out there and you're a customer, uh, sign up for GCAP. You can get um, three points for sending me questions like the one I'm about to ask Becky. So uh, the question that I picked semi-randomly that comes in uh, from GCAP, from me to you, is from Jor, uh, J-O-E-R-G. I'm not sure how to say that name. Hi, George. <laughs> Yeah, George, George. But um, George's question was kind of funny to me. He said, uh, let's go exploring. Where are we going? And so, Becky, in this situation, I wanted you to act like you have to go exploring someplace with me in particular. And where would the two of us go on this whirlwind adventure? Where would we go exploring? Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Does it have to be a place I've been to before? I, I, it's up to you. It's totally your interpretation. I think I would probably take you to the Outer Banks of North Carolina, which is near and dear to my heart. There's just lots of fun stuff to do. Go to the beach, see the humpback whales are actually uh, oh, wow. are inland this time of year, so you could actually see the whales from the beach, piers and lighthouses, and lots of really good food. So that, that's where we would go exploring. Awesome. You had me at food, but I'm fine to take <laughs> The whales are pretty cool, too, though. <laughs> I'm sure, yes. And let's all enjoy the beach before it comes closer to Raleigh, I say. That's right. That's right. All right, cool. Um, well, Becky, now that the icebreaker is out of the way, I say we get down to business. Today, you wanted to talk about um, an SSO configuration. Is that correct? Yes, a new feature that we have for generic SSO providers. All right, so today I'm really excited to share with you a feature that we just released a couple weeks ago. It is uh, the generic SSO feature. 
So I want to start off by explaining what SSO is if you are not familiar with it. It's a, it's a method of access control. It allows a user to log into a system with a single ID and password and then gain access to multiple other systems. Lots of our customers use SSO as a mechanism to let their users log into Genesis Cloud. Right now, we integrate with six of the most commonly used SSO solutions, so solutions you may have heard of, like G Suite, Ping, Salesforce, Okta, OneLogin, and Azure. But we know that there are over 80 SSO providers currently in the marketplace, and that number grows every day. It, it, we simply just can't support them all. <clears throat> so our solution is the new generic SSO provider feature. This allows customers to use almost any identity provider that uses the SAML 2.0 protocol. You might want to know what SAML is. It stands for Security Assertion Markup Language, but the important thing to know is it's a security protocol that uses tokens to pass information between an identity provider like Okta, for instance, and a service provider like Genesis Cloud. It's super easy to configure generic SSO in Genesis Cloud, very straightforward. So all users need to do is provide the SSO integrator's logo, name, certificate, and a little bit of metadata from their SSO provider, and they're good to go. Once the configuration is saved, the customer's users can then just log directly into Genesis Cloud by logging by clicking on the logo of their generic SSO provider. I just picked one at random here, RSA, which is a provider that does support SAML 2.0 as an example. And it's really that simple. Awesome. That sounds great. And yeah, I agree with you. Way to um, just really open it up and make it easy for everybody to use. So thank you so much for that demo. Everybody, we hope you enjoy that feature. Now, uh, Becky, one of the things I wanted to ask you is this is specific to Genesis Cloud. Is that right? That is correct. Yes. Okay, cool. So yes, if you have any questions about this feature, feel free to ask in the Genesis Cloud community and uh, somebody like Becky or myself will try to help you out. All That's right. right. All right, cool. Well, Becky, speaking of the community, you're probably well aware that some questions go on the community. Not all of them get an answer. What do you say? Let's hop in there and maybe try to answer a few. Let's do it. All right, great. And we're going to start with this one called Sending Canned SMS in Architect. So long story short here, we wanted to help Carson out. And Carson's, uh, you know, the, the gist of his message is, I'm a very new Pure Cloud Genesis Cloud admin, and I'm looking for advice on how I should set up sending canned SMS in Architect. So Becky, you are here. You are able to help. What do you think? Any advice for Carson? Well, first of all, Carson, welcome to the Genesis Cloud platform. Uh, I am really excited to tell you about a new feature that we released on February 12th, which is agentless SMS notifications. So this allows you to send SMS notifications without involving an agent automatically based on triggered events. And you can either use the public API or an architect flow using data actions. And the use case here is, let's suppose you want to notify your customer that you've just shipped a product that they've ordered. You can now configure Pure Cloud, Genesis Cloud to send an SMS message to your customer with shipping and tracking information. Um, for your reference, we do have a tutorial on the Dev Center that can help you to use these APIs. Just look up agentless SMS in the Pure Cloud Developer Center. Yeah, and it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, that may be linked to in the question as well. Let's see here. Uh, I, I, I think somebody did, yeah. Yeah, this right here? This yep, that's it. Perfect, yeah. So great. Carson, we hope you can find some uh, good information there. Becky, let's go ahead and get to another question real quick. Um, this one comes to us from Paul. And Paul wanted to know about historical data skewed by agents who are forgetting to log out. Yes. Um, yes. And it's a common complaint that we hear on the ideas portal, in the community, in the developer forum. There's lots of different use cases. Paul, thanks for bringing yours to the table. So I'm excited to tell you that on March 4th, we're going to be releasing a new feature called Agent Log Off by Supervisor. And this is going to allow contact center managers and supervisors to log agents out of Pure Cloud in different agent views, seven different agent views to be specific. Awesome. Very exciting. Um, Paul, we hope that was helpful. All right. This next question comes to us from Victor. And Victor wanted to know about downloading all audios slash API slash V2 recording um, batch requests. And it sounds like um, he's just trying to download the audio recordings from bulk interactions and um, just wanted to know what we, we recommend that might be able to help. 
Yeah, so new and improved on top of the batch recordings APIs, uh, bulk export recording APIs, as well as new AWS, AWS recording bulk action. So this is a new feature. It may or may not meet Victor's use case, but I want to share it anyway. Um, this is a feature that's going to allow quality managers to create a policy to automatically export recordings in bulk and store them in their own AWS S3 bucket. So this is automated and hands-free. You set it and forget it. So if you want, to you want to set a policy to export all recordings after every so many days, you can do that. Or automatically export all recordings for a certain agent. You can do that. You set it up once and it's automated. Awesome. And I think you just selected one more question for us to talk about. It's going to be quick and easy, but sometimes the short answers are the best ones. You can't, you picked this one way out of the archive. Greg, we're a little late getting to you. You posted this 24 days ago, but the good news is Becky does have an answer that'll be meaningful going forward. So we wanted to share it. Um, Greg wanted to know how to access the recent roadmap webinar. Um, just in general said he can't find it. So Becky, as a project manager, what, what do you recommend to him? Great question, Greg, and I'm, I'm glad that you found the roadmap session to be so helpful that you want to find it again and share it. Um, all you need to do is go to know.genesis.com. That's where you can see the roadmap and the webinar recording, but here's the caveat. You have to log in. So if you just go to know.genesis.com and you're not logged in, you're not going to see the links. So you'll need to log in to see those links. That's right. So yeah, Becky, I'm really glad you brought this up because um, the Knowledge Network, which is what know.com stands for, is a really cool site. And a lot of people don't understand that it is customizable. It's not just the same links that you see on every site. So when you log in, you will see different things depending on what permissions you have, including like upcoming webinars. I know you mentioned um, a lot of our previous stuff, but Greg, this is what you're looking for. We do have a roadmaps and releases um, uh, tile. And um, if that's something that you know you're uh, interested in and you don't wanna have to scroll to to find again, just remember you can move these around so if you want to, you can just put it up the top here. You're logged in, so every time you log in, that'll be one of the first tiles that you see. Cool. Um, let's see here, Becky, anything else you wanna talk about while we're on the Knowledge Network? No, that's it, thanks so much for having me. Hey Becky, again, thanks so much for stopping by. Now, on to some exciting news that has uh, big implications for your use of the Genesis Online community. So, a long time ago when I got started, I was working with the WFO team to start up a WFO Online community. WFO standing for Workforce Optimization. Well, that group changed titles. It is no longer WFO, it is now WEM. If you've been on the community, I'm sure you've had, you've seen this discussion before in a couple of different places. But we went from Workforce Optimization to Workforce Engagement Management. So that team was just recently recognized um, by Gardner as a uh, visionary in their 2020 quadrant. For WEM, which is super cool. And it's also really timely because the team has obviously rebranded externally or well, maybe more so internally, but now we're pushing that change into the community. So the WFO community is now the WEM community. And um, better than a name change or a rebranding is they're putting a lot more energy into the community moving forward. Um, as such, we're going to have some new moderators, some new experts who are really in there to hear your ideas, to talk about the features you like and to understand generally, you know, how they can help you with the product. So we wanted to take a moment in the show today to introduce them and hopefully get you excited for this new community. So without further ado, go ahead and check the video out. So we're excited about sort of relaunching uh, the workforce optimization as workforce engagement management. WEM is the whole engagement suite of workforce community type of thing. So it's all of the products with quality management and training manager and all of them working together as one to make it a really fabulous product for people to be able to work with. How now, brown cow? I don't have diction, sir. You are <laughs> You know New York, you know New York, you know you need unique New York. I will say the owl because of mystical animal, very elegant. My spirit animal is the Komodo dragon, and it's my spirit animal because its breath can kill you. Probably the panda. <laughs> Because I love to eat and sleep, and also dark circles around my eyes, so panda power. 
us to have you know lively conversations around the topics of engagement and how to bring them to the contact center. You know, we really want to talk to our customers and our consumers. I think we really want to have a vibrant community and we want to hear their ideas and we want to talk about those ideas. It's a good place to have questions answered and raised and get everybody involved. So I'm hoping it's going to grow. As we add features, we need to discover those features together using the community, using our organization and sitting down and looking at the changes as they come out and understanding how they affect us in our operations. So when I was younger, I used to do modeling, um, catwalk modeling. I always know where north is, and I can usually tell time to within about five seconds without a watch. I do get into a lot of photography, so um, when I do have some spare time and when I'm not trying to build products, um, I'm trying to get outside and get to some landscape photography. I'm really good at like reaction gifts. Like if we're having a conversation, they'll be like, oh, you send the perfect gift or something. <laughs> We're super nice. Come join the community. We're excited to have you and to hear your questions. Uh, looking forward to working with our customers on the community uh, forum uh, and also some building some really great product for our users. We know WBM is the next step for a great, great, great customer experience we need to have and engage employees. Don't forget to use the Idea Labs to vote for new features and don't forget to vote. Please engage as much as you can on the WEM community. We're here to help and others alike the, 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 where the experts are going to be. So don't be afraid to ask any question whatsoever. No question is a stupid question, so please ask away. All right, everybody, that's our show for today. Just a quick note, um, production for the show may be a week or two short, and the reason why is kind of interesting. So um, I am actually moving offices, which is kind of a bummer because I, I've always thought of this place as being my little studio, um, and these are my supporting cast of characters that I'm sure you've all come to tolerate. Uh, but long story short, I don't know what my new office holds and what the uh, studio, for lack of a better word, will look like. Um, so, you know, just in case you want one last look at my Funkos. I wanted to give you the opportunity. There they are. And if you have any questions, feel free to ping me in the community. That's all that I have uh, really to offer from an expert perspective. So I'd love more questions about my Funkos <laughs> or more questions about my office if you're so inclined. But anyway, always feel free to reach out to us in the community. Thank you so much for stopping by for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, we'll be back next week with um, you know some more information. So have a good one, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks for tuning in for this week's episode. We hope it was helpful and maybe a little bit entertaining. Each week, our host and experts review community discussions and debate what content to discuss so your voice matters. Do we miss something? Do you have a question for the show? Let us know. Join the conversation at the Genesis online community. As a Genesis customer or partner, you can create an account. Just click the sign in button found on most pages and follow the necessary instructions to create an account. Also, feel free to email us at qashow at genesis.com. We'd love to hear from you. If this is your first episode, welcome. You can view our entire archives. Go to the helpful links panel found on most community pages and find the QA Show archive that interests you. We appreciate your support of the show and the community. Cheers. Cheers.